hello hello everyone welcome back to this community today so in today's video I want to go ahead and do show you how to create your s3 bucket on your amazon aws account so it's a global service so we do not have to maybe specify a region okay it is not region specific it's a global service and so if you maybe have just a brand new aws account you do not know from where you can access your s3 bucket you go from right over here where you can click on service and you can see if these ones are the most recently visited uh, services that i have on my account at this time so if you haven't visited services on your account you can ultimately go from right over here and you go from storage right here and in storage you see your s3 uh services right here service right here or you can also go ahead and just maybe type s3 once you type s3 right from the search bar here you can search and you can be able to access your s3 service so you go ahead so the goal today is to create a bucket we can make the bucket public so that you can be able to get the object from it so let's go ahead and create a bucket guys so the first thing is to specify your bucket name right so they say the, the bucket name is globally unique right it must be global globally unique so if you pick up a name that is already existing it will not work so we are going to say uh, our first bucket right Let's just say, let's call it first, our first bucket. Let's abbreviate the bucket as BKT, right? So that's our bucket name, first bucket. And um, so let's go ahead. So it says the bucket name must not contain spaces. Okay, that's why I put a dash right here. It must not contain a space or uppercase letters so you cannot include a, an uppercase letter inside your bucket name that's the first thing you want to check out so right here it's a global service but you have the option to choose if you want to put it maybe in a, in a specific region all right so sometimes people just want to choose the specific region because of uh, latency issues right so to make the objects that are in the bucket to be quickly accessible so if you had created previous buckets then obviously you want to choose maybe from some of the settings some of the pre-existing settings that you already uh, used when you were creating other buckets but let's go i want us to be fundament fundamental about it so i won't uh, maybe use previously uh, existing setting that I already used to create some buckets so right here you may choose to uh, select any of the options right here you want to specify if the buckets are can be managed only by the owner or not or you may want to just choose all objects in these buckets are owned by this account right so there is a tendency that you can enable the bucket to be such that it can also be accessed by other accounts right so if you want it to be managed just by this account it's still okay so let's maintain it uh that the bucket will managed by this account then since we want to make the bucket public you want to uncheck this right block all public access so we want to make it public so that we can be able to get a, a we can be able to get an object an acknowledgement or that you are aware that your bucket is going to be public and your objects will be accessible and one good thing about bucket is that you want to be able to enable you want to enable maybe versioning so that as maybe if they upload another version of the different objects that you have in the bucket you can have a different version of the bucket so we will enable versioning and if you have some tags you can add some tags so we can add some tag just for formality right 
and you can go ahead so this is just an encryption so save our encryption so that one you may just want to let it be and if you look at advanced uh, settings so nothing much object lock maybe it says disabled but it doesn't matter okay even with this we can still be able to set up and make the bucket public so let's go ahead and create the bucket okay so this bucket name is already existing right so it's existing so that's why they will not let us create the bucket with that name so let's say the bucket is a our first bucket a right first bucket dash a let's try this one and see if it works i hope it should work it should guys perfect so it works so we have created our bucket right okay this other bucket with other pre-existing buckets that i had so that's why it's same buckets not available because i deleted this other ones already so pretty much so let's go ahead refresh and see make sure that to see if our bucket is right there okay this is our bucket guys this is the bucket that we just created remember we actually uh, uncheck the option that we want to make the bucket public so yet when you get over here it says access when you see right here access it says object can't be public the bucket is public but the objects that we're going to upload in here won't be public so this is the goal we really want to make this the possibility of object to be able to be public so we can upload object into it and equally get and insert objects into the bucket let's go ahead and we are going to edit the bucket policy okay so uh, you want to do if you want to do that you go from uh, permissions all right so you go from permissions and right here this is the bucket policy so you want to edit the pot the bucket policy so we go ahead click on edit once you click on edit it will tell you you see there's no policy right here but you can generate the policy that is going to enable the bucket objects to be public you click on generate policy so this is it so for the policy you will select right here the policy type that we want to generate is an s3 bucket policy right and after selecting s3 bucket policy we get right here so want to see want to make sure that it's allowed okay so we put the star here the star here simply is simply saying that everything should be allowed all the objects in the bucket should be allowed okay and you get right over here so want to look at the action so obviously the action we need just two actions and the two actions that we need is to be able to get an object and we should be able to insert an object into the bucket that is the option the action that we want we want to be able to get an object let's see if we will see insert an object if you want to be able to list the object maybe list job or whatever you can select anyone you want okay okay so right now for okay we want to be able to put an object right here perfect okay then we need the amazon resource name for the bucket and actually insert it right here and the amazon resource name is right here guys so this is it right here you can copy it right here right from here and we get back over here we get it pasted here this is amazon resource resource name for the bucket we are creating and you can get ahead take a forward slash and a star so that is to say we saying that we want to make 
all the objects in the bucket probably so we can add a statement i mean add a policy this is a policy right here and we can go ahead and generate the policy we just generated the policy this is a policy we just generated guys and so we can carefully copy this policy that we just generated once we get it copied go back right here and we can paste the policy right here perfect and we can go ahead and save the policy right if we scroll right here you see we can save the policy from right here and we save perfect so we have just edited the bucket policy and we can go back to this bucket and right here you see access is now public so objects that are being uh, put in this bucket will be public that's what we wanted to do okay guys so we can go ahead if you want to upload an object into the bucket now it's pretty simple so we just go into the bucket from here and we can upload maybe a folder or or maybe uh, any file right so we want to upload yeah so okay yeah perfect so we got a folder right here and this is it get it uploaded and you can see the folder the all the content and we can get it uploaded perfect so with the object is now available in the bucket and we can ultimately download any one of the objects like we we're saying you can test it by downloading any one of the objects perfect right here you see the object has been downloaded pretty much to show you how it's now public okay guys thank you very much for watching please like and share the video and always return back to this community to see our interesting content that we make available for you guys here every day. Thanks, guys.